surprisingly to us at least, uh, Illinois has not done as badly as one might have thought a year ago. In fact, we've, we've added uh, over 60,000 jobs uh, this year. And in some months, we've actually added jobs at a rate that's higher than the nation. And if you look back at the data, we've only had, I think, two years since uh, 1980 where Illinois has outperformed the nation over a, a whole calendar year. And both of those were before uh, 1990. So for the last 20 years, we've, we've significantly underperformed. But obviously, in the last few months, the national economy has sort of stuttered a little bit, and uh, last month, Illinois lost jobs. But if you look at the, uh, the overall picture for this year, I think we can be reasonably optimistic, and our current forecast suggests that uh, we're still likely to, to add significant numbers of jobs over the next 12 months. However, this is also based on the fact that we, we hope that the national economy will, uh, will start to recover a little bit. And, the last month, we had over 100,000 jobs created. What we'd like to see is something in the order of 200,000 per month. I think everybody is sort of aware of the change in causality that during the early part of this last decade, the housing market was leading the economy. I mean, it really fueling it in two senses. One, every time a house was bought or sold, uh, RCF Consulting estimates about $28,000 was created in, in direct expenses. In addition, new housing construction had one of the highest ripple effects on the economy, so huge numbers of jobs directly and indirectly dependent upon on housing construction for appliances, for paints, and so on and so forth. That sort of disappeared. So that uh, what we're seeing now is a market that probably is not going to recover until jobs recover because people are being very risk averse. They've been badgered into thinking that they have to be much more conservative about their spending habits, so people are paying down debt. And they're modestly investing in their existing homes, but I think they're still a little wary about trading up. And uh, the other thing that we're looking at is uh, rental prices now in, in places like Chicago are approaching sort of historic highs. And I think what that tells us is that people are, if you like, parking themselves in rental properties uh, in anticipation that when the market begins to move upwards, they're going to jump, jump in and, and, and buy property. But, you know, the, the, the concern is uh, if you looked over the last two or three years, a lot of pundits have uh, forecast the recovery, not us, but others that um, uh, and then people see the prices continuing to go down, and what they're doing is waiting until they are convinced that it, they bottomed out. And then when they see them start to rise, then they'll, they'll jump back in. Not all of them, but a large number of people who are just sort of waiting things out at the moment. The downgrade probably is not going to have much impact on the housing market. Interest rates are at historically low levels. Um, lending capacity is there, but I think people are still very anxious. And I, I don't think in the long run this is going to have much impact on the housing market in and of itself, but what will have an impact is if we don't pay attention to economic recovery, and hopefully Congress, when it comes back in the session, will basically make that its primary issue. Very much so. In fact, the declines have been really dramatic in the last uh, few months. The only thing that uh, um, there is some caution about is, is what degree there are other properties that were um, mortgaged in, in late uh, 2007, early 2008 that might end up becoming problem properties uh, in the next several months. But I think there's a gradually growing consensus that I think the worst is uh, behind us. And if the economy begins uh, to recover, job growth is, is, uh, is more positive, then hopefully the effect of the foreclosures will be mitigated by people moving from apartments into houses. And while the foreclosures are certainly going to continue to have a downward pressure on prices, hopefully sales will, will bounce back up again.